All right, you guys seem to love the last Wedding Nightmares video, so I thought I'd take it upon myself to do another- Mr. Hutt, it can't be. What? Hello? Mr. Hutt? Cody, how are you, son? I, I'm good. It's an honor, sir. Truly. <laughs> Listen, uh, are you sitting down? Uh, yeah, I am sitting down. What, what can I do for you? Okay, Cody, let me get straight to the point. We're offering you a brand deal with Pizza Hut. Huh? How does that sound? Um... <laughs> so... Well, you know, I'd love to. This has been a dream of mine since I've been a child. Okay... But I can't say yes. Not unless you give me something to give my fans as well. Hmm, okay, I like your style, kid. How about a large pizza for $12 with up to nine toppings and any sauce of their choice? How does that sound? Hmm. A large pizza for $12 with up to nine toppings and any sauce of their choice. Is that what you said? That's right. So, what's it gonna be? Make it 10 toppings and you got yourself a deal. Well, son, it sounds like we got ourselves a deal. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> Good doing business with you, Mr. Hutt. Please, Mr. Hutt was my father. <laughs> you can call me Pizza Man. Pizza Man. <laughs> All right, Pizza Man. <laughs> All right, Pizza Man. Appreciate you. Hey, uh, I mean, we can still talk. All right, <laughs> Doesn't goodbye. Doesn't have to just be business. Love you. you. know, we can hang out. Hot dog, we did it. We got a Pizza Hut brand deal. Let's go. That's right, folks. The Pizza Hut $12 any deal gives you a large pizza for $12 with up to 10 toppings and any sauce of your choice. Mm. Oh my God. Listen, you can customize yours however your heart desires, or you can eat it like I eat it. Sausage, peppers, mushrooms. Call up Pizza Hut. Tell me you want the Cody Co special. They will not know what you're talking about, so you'll have to clarify and just say what I just said. But if you do that, it's delicious. Or like I said, well, however you want. You're probably eating lunch to this video right now. I'm gonna eat lunch during this video. Thank you again, Mr. Hut. Now cast me in a commercial, please. <clears throat> Let's get into it. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> Shit. As soon as you see someone acting nasty with anything flammable in their hands, you just know some shit's about to get burned. Oh my god, my guy is hammered! Oh my god, imagine how drunk you have to be to look at a raging fire like that and be like, I gotta wipe it off! I gotta wipe the fire off. It's okay, I'm gonna wipe it off. I'm gonna wipe it off, okay? It's a lot of fire. There's nothing I, my sleeve can't handle. He didn't even, like, dude, he didn't even react at all. He's laughing right here. He turned around and went, ow, oh, what did I do? Uncle Clint did it again. God damn, Uncle Clint did it again. Ain't no words, I'll wipe it off. Fire! Fire! Dude, he's still, he's, he's grinding with an invisible subject here. <laughs> He has not realized that the woman has left. He's just air grinding. I'm just fucking like. Mm. Oh damn! The fire. Dude, oh my god! I'm standing on it. Uh, and the and dude, also one of the best parts is still like broad daylight outside, and this man is hammered. <laughs> Dude, he's like a dog. <laughs> well, your dog's humping some shit, and you like take him off whatever he's humping, and he like has like five more residual humps that he does before he stops. <laughs> That's what this guy's doing right now. It is funny, but it's actually also quite sad because this man is clearly like this. There's some realness there where it's like this has happened before. You know, I don't think this is the first occurrence of this per. Perhaps this is what I'm reading from this interaction here, where she's like, "Calm down, relax," and he's like, "I'm fine. What do you mean? I'm fine. I'm fine." Like he didn't just try to put out a fire with his arm. I'm fine. What? I'm fucking. Everyone's loving it. I'm grinding. I'm hump fucking the air, stomping on the flames. Everyone's loving it. This guy is surrounded by negative Nellies. Dude is the reason this party is lit. I don't know if you guys know any alcoholics. <laughs> Oh my 
my god. Dude. So funny. He's like, thank you guys. <laughs> Whoa, it's fucking great service here. Fucking <laughs> amazing service here. They just open the door for you and what's like with a smoke bomb too? It's like it's just me. Just fucking Uncle Chris, you know? Also love just untucked polo at a wedding. I don't know the dress code, but something tells me he's probably a little bit underdressed. <laughs> smoothest smoothest brain I've ever seen. <laughs> or maybe he just doesn't give a fuck. Which is kinda it's kind of fucking up these people's wedding, but it's made a great clip. It's what you want from a wedding. Great clips. It's what you want from a haircut. Thank you. Well, you are a real it's a, anybody can it's come on Keep walking. And now, I'm safe. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god, the fact that she had to make the point is so funny. It's probably a relatively big beach, right? I mean, maybe not. It's, it looks like a rock beach, so whatever. But you like, you, there's other places you could have walked than right in the middle of the camera and what's going on. And then she stopped and had to like make the point. It's a public. I can I can walk here if I want. It's a free country. Move, bitch. Look at this fucking bedazzled ass paddleboard too. <laughs> Imagine seeing this happening and being like, I don't like this. Wait, love is happening on a public beach? Not on my watch. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ruin that. I'm gonna ruin that. I'm gonna go fuck that up because it's a public beach and I can. So if you wanted to get married, you should have rented somewhere and paid a lot of money. That's the way it works. Sorry, that's what I did. And I'm pissed that you're not doing it. So I'm gonna ruin it for you. Up next, turn your attention directly to the head table. It is time for the best man to give his remarks. Everybody, welcome Scott. Oh, that little smirk. You already know this is about to be uncomfy. You already know this is about to include some sexual escapades that he probably should have kept, kept under wraps, you know? Well, I'm Jason's brother. We're loud people here, so don't worry about that. Uh, anyways, let's give you a quick story. My, my dad was just talking about how Jason and Whitney have always been, for, been there for him. Well, let's talk about the first time we went on vacation with him. He had a very bad back, and the guy couldn't do anything by himself. Like, what do we got? Bad story, whatever. Uh, oh, it's like a bad open mic. Pretty sure I've done this at an open mic before. No laughs? Cool, it's a bad story, whatever. I'm gonna move on. Anyways, I'm sucking already. Anyways, uh, we had to carry him everywhere he wanted to go. Dude, it is silent in there. You could hear a pin drop. Whatever. All right, switching scenes. Sorry, sorry. All right, I first met uh, Whitney at the back. He sat down. <laughs> the sit down, just like accepting defeat, but he still got he still got the rest of the speech to go. His brother's like, "What the fuck? Get it together, dude! Just say anything." Bachelor pad, that was also known as my dad's house. Personally, I uh, I have two sisters. Never cared for either of them, but. Uh, I'm not sure he was joking. I don't think that's a joke. Whitney, uh, Whitney, I thought might might be the one, and uh, we had some good times. And then I found out she went to bed at about seven o'clock, and that ruined that relationship too. So, uh, anyways, bro, this is, oh fuck, man, this is horrible you know what this is like not that bad though which makes it worse like it this happens once a wedding like every wedding i go to has a speech like this where everyone's kind of like all right fucking wrap it up please my brother's a douche what do you want to know <laughs> winging it <laughs> pull it in sorry uh no seriously though jason's always been a really good guy he uh we always and haven't been the best of friends, but anytime I've ever needed Jason, he's always been there for me. Uh, seriously, he took me to the hospital one time in the middle of the night. I'm not going to tell you guys about that story, but anyways, uh, Jason's always been there for me. We don't use the L word around the Hemmer house, but uh, you're the man, brother.
<laughs> just handing the mic off to nobody. <laughs> look at his, look at his face. Look at how much he just regrets this. Why the fuck did I pick this guy as my best man? Dude, I'm, I'm still floored at the strays that the sisters caught. Never cared for either of them, and they just moved on. His sisters are like, what the fuck? Yo, we, what? I thought we were cool. That was awesome. POV, the dress code is formal and your redneck uncle shows up to your wedding in a wife beater with a cooler of Bud Light and heads straight for the dance floor. Fucking legend. <laughs> Clearly it worked. Look at the fucking party was turning up. Everyone's lit, everyone's fired up, dude. Everyone's like, yeah, what? what? Fuck it, let's get out there. What the fuck are we doing? This guy's in a tank top. This man has shorts on. We are not turning up hard enough. As long as he's bringing this energy, he can wear whatever. Everyone appreciates people like this at a wedding. Everyone. Even if you're fucking awkward and don't want to dance, you'll watch that and you appreciate the fact that they bring energy and encourage other people to do the same thing, you know? Out of all things, it was really Uncle Ray that made you blow up on TikTok. That's another thing. That's, that's the... That's the aura this man commands. He's not only changing the dynamic of this wedding, he's also gonna blow up online afterwards. He's just a winner. On two occasions I've been told this story. I was not at this wedding, <laughs> but on two occasions I've been told this, both by makeup artists. We'll call her Jenny. Jenny says to me, I did a wedding the other day and you never guess what happened. She said the bride needs to go to the toilet just before the ceremony. This is like pre-ceremony. And she walked into the toilet I think I saw this, and it's about to blow your fucking mind. And what she saw is enough to end a wedding. <gasps> what do you think she saw? Was he with someone else? No, worse. Having a wank? <laughs> worse. Getting wanked? <laughs> worse. I don't worse know. Worse than anything sexual. Just the groom taking a massive dump. I did not know you pooped! He was in there. The groom was in there. Doing drugs? <laughs> no. He was being breastfed by his mum. <laughs> Holy fuck, I forgot that that's what it was. I thought for some reason my memory, I think I heard a different one about the groom fucking the mother-in-law or something. But that is so much funnier. Being breastfed by the mom. Like, what the fuck? What? <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> Oh my god, what the fuck? I'm like speechless. I'm speechless. Like what the fuck? Like is this a regular thing or is the mom like, hey, you wanna just you know, before we see you walk down the aisle, my boy, you wanna for old time's sake, hop on the titty, huh? For old time's sake. Let's get a little milk, just like we used to. Right? It has to be a regular occurrence. Which is like, why the what the fuck? Is it a fetish at that point? Is it incest? I what the fuck? Just go ahead and cheer whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, everybody, calm down. <laughs> Just the camera guy. <laughs> oh, 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 serious. That's why you drink water on your wedding day. This apparently is a common occurrence. That's what uh, our wedding planner was telling us on the day of the wedding. She kept making sure that Kelsey was like eating and drinking or something, and it like making sure she didn't feel lightheaded because I guess this happens all the time. His brides pass out. Just a little little uh, FYI there, a little FYI. I'm always down to share little pieces of knowledge like that with you if you want. I got a bunch of them. That was awesome. He's dipping too. He's like, I fucking I just killed that. I love that it, the way the handoff too. He's like, here, here, fucking, there you go. There, I did my job. I can't, here, take the rings. And the thing I'm wondering is like, how does no one see that coming? How did not one of these 50 people look at the little slats on the floor and be like, okay, well, maybe we, sh we shouldn't have the fucking three year old carry the things that would perfectly fit in these slats if they were dropped? <gasps> <sighs> Crashing a wedding goes. Crashing a wedding goes very, no, very long. Well. You're in line? You guys, you guys, you guys get it. Are you sure? We're strategizing. You know, oh, we're okay. Yeah. We're a wedding? Yeah. We know Nancy. We're underdressed. I know. We can't walk. Mm. Nancy, what's going on? You guys should leave. Go. Get out. Yeah. 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 Leave right now. Okay. 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 No, you're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're trying to. You're trying to set. 
trying to say you know my wife. You don't even know her. Kids, why are you finding me out, isn't it? Why are you guys starting We're not starting anything. Yeah, why would you, why would you come in here? Hey, we're not starting anything. Yeah, you guys came in here. You were not loved. Hey. You were not Damn, that mullet is sick as fuck. Holy fuck. Yes, he lied to us. Dude, I'd be kind of scared about those two dudes. First of all, why the fuck are you wedding crashing? This is a shitty ass thing to do. Second of all, this is the scariest part right here. You're not so funny now, is it? That guy is, look at his face. That guy's gonna kill you. That guy has killed before and he will kill again. You're not so funny now, is it? I've been waiting to get my hands on you, boys. Yeah, the worst part about that was that the groom was one of the guys getting pissed off. It's like, the groom, man, you just fuck, you just fuck with the groom's wedding day. You're a piece of shit, dude. One day, the, the one day, one of these two guys is gonna get married, and they're gonna be like, damn, this is actually a lot of money, and it's a special day, and I feel shitty about ruining that for another person. And they're gonna regret that. Rings are onward sign of an inward bound, a spiritual bound. <laughs> man, already I'm loving this. Spiritual bound? <laughs> what? that unites two hearts in love and affection. The rings you exchange signify to all your marriages. To oh, he can't read. I don't feel like this is the job for him then. On the wrong page. Together because you have pledged your love and affection. Because you have pledged your love and affection. Oh my, just one moment, please. <laughs> I think I jumped the gun here. <laughs> <laughs> These rings you exchange six sig signify to all your marriages to one another and let us pray <laughs> signify to all your marriages to one another <laughs> he's really calm too and confident i like it this is fake it till you make it right here just keep going keep going oh, oh my god <laughs> maybe you just hold it for me for a moment will you? no problem buddy <laughs> oh, can't believe we've done this I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> These are the exchange. Yes, I read this here, right? Eh? I just read this. We've already done the sing singify part? We, we did the singify part, right? Okay, cool. Well, my word. Somebody played with my book. I'm so sorry. Dude, fucking wing it, bro. It's easy. Wing it. Do you take this woman to be your... This wing it. See, I just did it flawlessly. You must just know something. Oh, yeah. It is. Something went missing here. Can we just make it up? <laughs> yeah, we could make it up. Right? Here we go. Yeah. We'll, just we'll improvise. Here we go. Yeah. We'll improvise. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you great honor and great joy and privilege to announce to you Mr. and Mrs. Jessica. Oh, not all. <laughs> it's supposed to be the dude's name, right? <laughs> the confidence. This, this guy's got swag. Holy fuck. Oh, it works for me. It works for me. <laughs> You're coming to the left. We have papers to sign. Great. Thank you. This guy's a fucking G. His voice, too? Thank you, my friend. Taking her. Taking her Please. name. Damn. Damn. You get what you pay for, you know? <laughs> He's got to help me up on his phone. Who finds that funny? I don't understand. Like, you have to see that, someone else doing it, and then be the type of guy to be like, that's so funny that I'm going to do that at my wedding. I just don't understand that. That's so fucking dumb. <laughs> that was a big one. I thought it was your dad. I thought it was your dad for this right there. Jeez. Way to just change that up. Hunter. That's my boy. That's my boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Hey. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. That was a big. You must have been holding that instance of hope. I mean, that's just a great clip right there. We got to listen again. That's a fucking, holy fuck, that had length to it. I wonder how old that kid was. Jesus Christ. Little man was shifting gears with that one. <laughs> this is the good kind of wedding nightmare. It doesn't ruin the wedding. If anything makes people happy, you forever have a great memory and a, most importantly, a great clip. So me and my husband's minister went off script during our ceremony and then this happened. Hallelujah. It's been used for centuries to celebrate beautiful union. And it's 
blessedly short. <laughs> From my heart to yours, here you go. This is my favorite clip so far. They're like, <laughs> I love that they can't, they can't like break their composure. Like both of them just so badly want to be like, yo, yo, shut the, what the, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> but they like, it's the wedding day, you know, you want to like pretend like it's all part of the plan, you know? Right before the kiss, too. Oh my god. Oh my god. That, I mean, that's the best clip I've ever seen. That's like from a movie. How is <laughs> that dude not laughing? <laughs> oh my god. I love it. I love it. All right, that's a perfect one to end it on. I gotta be honest, I had a blast. I had a lot of fun. Don't fucking tell anyone about that, all right? But before I go, I just wanna say one thing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you again to Pizza Hut, $12 any deal. Go get it right now. Thank you for watching today's Wedding Nightmares. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite series I've ever done. Please press the like button if you believe in love and press the subscribe button if you're new here. I love you. Hallelujah. I'm not going home. I'm on the dance floor till I'm all alone. I gotta be honest, I had a blast. I had a lot of fun. Don't fucking tell anyone about that, alright? Let's go. Hold it down till the till the club is closed. Mm. Mm. Oh damn.